Oh hey! Didn't see you there. Today we'll be looking at- Hello, I'm David, and I just broke into- House. Today I'm going to talk to you about Islamism. Islamism is all of the ideologies at once. Since you have all of the ideologies, you can justify any action whatsoever. When the porcelain people take up this ideology, there's a little bit of confusion about what to do. But then, uh, a few good ideas rise to the surface. Due to the fact that honey is completely delicious, a group of the porcelain people decide to skip the middleman and go straight to the source. Bee eating becomes a national sport and a favorite delicacy. The stingers are removed regularly by the porcelain people doctors, but they say it just adds to the flavor. In the second year of Islamism, all the porcelain people realize that cats are evil. They see their evil scheming eyes with their tiny little evil slits and know that they're conspiring against them. To fight back against the evil conspiring cats, the porcelain people declare war on all free feeling kind. So they begin a national hunt for anything with tails, four legs, and fuzzy wuzzy ears. This unfortunately does take out quite a few of the rabbit population as well but those are casualties of war. The war wages on for several years, with many casualties on both sides. In the meantime, the porcelain people go to their scientists in order to turn the world into marshmallows. They know that marshmallows are a most delicious substance and order their scientists to get the world made of it as soon as possible. They start on this work post haste, but then get very, very drunk and very, very confused and then completely forget about this. The next year, porcelain people decide that maths is dumb. Everybody knows that maths is hard. Numbers hurt brain. Numbers not fun. Numbers bad. They outlaw maths in all of its forms, from counting to algebra. This means that the porcelain people can no longer quantify amounts of things. Numbers, even the speaking of them, is illegal, except for one. One is the only number allowed. <laughs> this means that if you have a lot of something, you can't tell if this is three, two, or less. Nobody can tell. In the 30th year of the Cat War, the porcelain people have one final battle against Felid Kind. They embark on a long expedition out to the battlefield, where the, one, the war will either be won or lost. But there is a problem. Due to an inability to use numbers, the number of sandwiches they bring with them is severely low. The people, the army, starve on the way to the battlefield, and the war is lost. The porcelain people surrender to the cat shortly after, and a new cat dictatorship begins. Due to the cats ruling the porcelain people in a cruel cat dictatorship, the currency of the porcelain people is changed into hairballs. All the porcelain people are immediately become broke due to their inability to grow hair of any kind. On the 99th year of Islamism in the Porcelain People Republic, they decide to wage war on the ocean. The ocean wins.